the Joe Rogan experience. Where should we, we, should we talk about like some conspiracy theories or Ooh, something? Well, Epstein didn't kill some? himself. Do you, I don't think he did. Nope. I think he might not have. Maybe. Maybe this. What are the, the odds that he did? If you had a bet, if I was in Vegas, if I wanted to give you odds, like hey, the odds he did. Come on, Matt. Ten percent. Ten percent is where I where I've got it. I don't I don't want to say it's like zero, but I think it's like ten percent. I think it's low. So would you plunk down a hundred bucks on yes. ten to one odds yes. that that he did kill himself? No, the opposite. <laughs> I would, I would do the opposite. Odds. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You'd want ten. You'd want more than ten to one that he did kill himself. No, no, no. I think there's only a ten percent chance he killed himself. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm fucking with these numbers here. I'm making it. Confusing. I don't know how you're. However, you're con- converting it to odds. It's falling apart. I in my get head. it. Sorry. I get it. It doesn't seem. I'm gonna go likely. with no way though. It doesn't no. seem likely. No. Um, That's just crazy that you could still do that. Did you see the Ford electric car? Epstein suicide about? guards say they're scapegoats. <laughs> For a broken system. Well, that's a defense. The defense is just we were incompetent, not we killed him. <sighs> hmm. Dude, who knows? That's Can there is some fucking the, weird shit going on in going our country on right behind now. Behind the scenes, man. What's going on behind the scenes? That somebody could sneak somebody in to kill somebody if that's what happened. What's going oh, on? Oh, this guy's an inside person. They don't. Oh. They don't just sneak somebody in. That person's already inside. The cameras are off, bro. That's crazy. Fuck. The cameras were the off. The cameras were off. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. The cameras. Come on. Whew. Bro, I have cameras at my house. They're never fucking off. Come on. Uh, when the cameras are off, too, I've heard repeated a few times, but not more recently, that there uh, there was screaming being heard <laughs> from his cell. That someone heard screaming. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> that's not stop being repeated now. So. I don't know what <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bro, we live in a fucking crazy world. Yeah, that's dark. Um, I don't know. Hi, Here hey. We it's just that's probably the biggest public conspiracy theory that most people believe in. Do you think most people believe it was a, it was a, a hit? I would say most people. I just read about one last night. <laughs> is there a poll? Is there a Pew poll on that one? Should they be. tried to overthrow FDR in 1935, and this general was like the whistleblower for it because the people that were supposedly trying to do it were trying to get him to be uh-huh. like the face to, to talk people into doing it. And so he went and talked to Congress about it. His name's like Smedley Butler, I think. Smedley yeah. Butler? What yeah, a, he was a what double a medal name. honor winner. And they called him out, and everyone said, oh, no, that's just a lie. It was a joke. There might have been some stuff being talked about in this meeting, but we were never going to do anything. And they said they had 500,000 soldiers that were going to march on D.C. to take over. And they had some general they were going to put in place as a dictator. There's a book written about what? it a couple years ago. And this guy, Smedley Butler, wrote a book in 1935 called, like, War is a Racket. War is a Racket, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, so he knew about all that? Yeah, yeah. I just read about this last night. Jeez. How yeah. do you know? It, where, what was the source? Uh, the book that, that, that it's called. I'll, I'll pull it up. It's called... Um, like the time, the conspiracy to overthrow the government, and then it's all—it's all about him. It's a really long book that just came out about like overthrowing FDR. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. I guess none of this shit is like new. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been. I'm like I just turned 38, and I feel like I didn't really start paying attention to anything until you know I was in like my mid 20s or whatever. Yeah. And it's been. You know, yeah, Bush was a piece of shit, and then it kind of seemed on the surface like Obama was kind of normal, but like it. And now, obviously, we live in crazy town, but but it. Um, I think it. I think I feel like it's new, and it's not new, and this kind of shit has just happened over and over and over again. Well, it's the remnants of an ancient society. I mean, we're we're dealing with this uh, ancient system that was created long before we had anything resembling our way of communicating that we have now. 